So let's say you want to build a theater room, or any room for that matter, but you're thinking about sound control. You either want to prevent it from entering or from leaving, but you can't figure out an easy way how. Well today we're doing just that and I'll show you how using a product called Sonopan. Here's our blank slate, a future theater room in a basement that will end up being a hangout for a busy family. Let's start with the product we are using. It's called Sonopan and it comes in 4x8 sheets that are 3 quarters of an inch thick. Each sheet weighs roughly 26 pounds so it's pretty easy to handle. It's made in Canada using 100% recycled wood fiber and it's dyed green using a natural colorant. The dimpled surface on both sides help cancel a wide range of sound frequencies and there is no front or back to the board so you can install it in any orientation. We've gone ahead and done most of the prep work by installing fiberglass bat insulation in all the wall and ceiling cavities. You may notice we're missing a vapor barrier. That's because these are interior walls with the exception of one that was spray foamed. The fiberglass insulation only serves as an additional sound dampening medium to cut down on resonance within the stud cavity. Use the appropriate size of insulation for your wall thickness. To get started I recommend the following tools. A track saw and dust extractor. An oscillating multi-tool with a wide Japanese tooth blade. A utility knife. A drill with standard twist bits. A tape measure. Fine tip permanent marker. And a staple gun. I'm using a 7 16th crown construction stapler with 2 inch staples, but you can also use a standard drywall screw gun. Sonopan recommends the use of washers with the screws when screwing the board to the ceilings to ensure the board doesn't fall down. If you plan on stapling it like I have, you don't need any additional fasteners and I found this method to be the fastest way to hang the sheets. Installing Sonopan is as easy as installing drywall. Just cut your sheets to fit snugly but not too tight as this can cause the edges to chip. Aim for around an eighth inch larger than your dimension for a spring fit. I started with the ceiling, staggering boards and then worked on the walls, standing up sheets. To cut sheets along their length and width, I'm using a track saw with a standard 48 tooth wood cutting blade. Your blade choice isn't really important here as Sonopan is a soft material. What is critical though is the use of a dust extractor to keep the sawdust out of the track saw body and it will also keep your work area much cleaner. If you don't have a track saw, you can also use a standard circular saw and a straight edge, but keep in mind this will be slightly messier. For rips, you can also cut sheets using a score method and utility knife, but you need a really sharp blade and this is a little tougher and slower than using a track saw. Don't try to score and snap the material as it can break unevenly. Lay out your cuts the same way you would if drywalling and cut out box openings or notches using your multi-tool. I stapled the sheets on every 8 to 10 inches with closer spacing where required to keep it snug. Sometimes insulation can push the board out of touch, so you'll need a few extra staples to push back. With the right tools, your installation should be smooth sailing. I was able to complete this room, which was around 35 sheets, in roughly 4 hours, as the majority of sheets required cutting before installation. Sonopan itself is a natural and safe product, but I do recommend you wear a respirator when cutting or handling any type of insulation or any type of material. It's always good to play it safe. Now you have a surface that's ready for drywall and a room that's much quieter.